You don't need to unzip or download your compressed files. All right, in this video series about the R language, I'm showing you how to iterate with custom functions. Along the way, I'm highlighting tips and tricks for tidying data. As always, see the video description below for a link to the code. All right, in the first two videos in this series, I demonstrated how to iterate over a vector and introduced the per map function. Just a brief introduction. You know, we're gonna dive deeper into this as the series progresses. In the last videos in this series, we'll demonstrate using data wrangling tips with iteration and custom functions. In between are a bunch of other data wrangling tips. So this is a brief practical tip video. This video may be even shorter than the last video about ingesting Excel files. The tip is you don't need to unzip or download your compressed files. I'll show you how to do this with the tidyverse reader package. And by the way, the same functionality is true for the data table fread function. Okay, so here at uh, line 89, we're gonna use the fsdir create function to create a data directory. Uh, there actually already is a data directory, but this is a non-destructive create. So fsdir create is smart enough to not destroy what's already there. And then I'm setting up a simple if statement to check and see if the file already exists. It's a, it's a compressed file, but if it already exists, I don't need to download it again. If it doesn't exist, then I'm gonna download it. Um, but as I said, I don't really need to download it. I'm just doing this for the workshop so that we're all sure we have the data when we get started, right? And then I'm gonna use the read underscore TSV function, which is same as the read underscore CSV. I'm reading in compressed data, .gz, that is tab separated, just like CSV is comma separated. And I'm gonna limit that to only a thousand rows just for brevity. To recap, compressed files will be automatically uncompressed, but also know that internet files, that is files that begin with a protocol such as HTTPS or FTP, they'll automatically be downloaded. 